And joining us now is Patrick DeLisis, Republican candidate for the 32nd Senate District. We welcome him now to In the District, and good to have you. Good to have, good to be here, Daryl. Thank, Thank you for so, inviting me. Thank you. So let me ask the question. Uh, as you talk a little bit about the district, and you see your district, what is it that decide, made you the, the determining factor, first of all, for you to run? Well, it's not one particular factor. It's one particular factor, several factors. For example, the South Bronx has the highest crime rate in New York City, and this has been over 50 years. The South Bronx has the highest unemployment rate in New York City. Again, this has been over 50 years. So you have high crime rate, high unemployment rate, high obesity rate, high asthma rate, high noise pollution. So the South Bronx is in trouble. The South Bronx is a war zone. The New York Times several years ago had a featured article on groups of individuals engaging in illegal activities called the Cowboys. So the South Bronx, what is known or was known as Fort Apache, is a war zone. And the South Bronx needs to be fixed. I have the qualification, I have the experience, I have the academic background, I have the professional background, and I have the personal commitment and love to fix what is plaguing the people in the South Bronx. I am here running as New York State Senator for the 32nd District to build a better and safer South Bronx. And no one else could do it but Patrick DeLisas. So when you talk about a, a better and a safer South Bronx, because you said, you know, you made the equivalent of it being a war zone. Some people feel that might be a little bit too harsh. But the issue that I think that you want to really address is quality of life. How do you address the quality of life issue in the South Bronx? You address the quality of life issues in the South Bronx in many different ways. Uh, some people may think that me saying that the South Bronx is like a war zone might be a little bit too harsh. But one needs to live in the South Bronx. One needs to come to the South Bronx and visit the South Bronx. Bring your family to the parks in the South Bronx. And what you see in the parks are dirty needles where kids play. Kids could be infected with all types of diseases. What you see in the South Bronx is a lot of pollution. What you see in the South Bronx is a lot of crime. So the quality of life is deplorable in the South Bronx. And no one is really addressing the quality of life issues in the South Bronx except for Patrick DeLisis. So if one wants to visit my website, www.votefortpatrickdelisis.com, they see what I'm talking about. You have to hold city and state agencies accountable in terms of deliverables regarding services, quality services to the South Bronx, be it sanitation, being at the parks department in terms of cleaning the parks and making the parks greener and user friendly for families and visitors within the South Bronx. In addition to that, you don't see nowhere in New York City where they're building a prison, but they want to build a prison in the South Bronx, even though the South Bronx already have two other prisons. So they want to add a third, and they're spending over $10.5 billion to build that prison. Instead of building that prison with $10.5 billion, build schools, build affordable housing, fix the parks, clean the South Bronx, increase and improve the quality of life. People in the South Bronx, as the New York Times article two days ago addressed about building the prisons in the South Bronx, people in the South Bronx don't want to be surrounded by inmates. They won't be surrounded by doctors. They won't be surrounded by lawyers. They won't be surrounded by educators. They won't be surrounded by professionals. This is what our kids need to see. Our kids don't need to see a prison. They need to see doctors, lawyers, businessmen, CEOs, those type of individuals who are productive citizens and professionals living in the South Bronx so they can see them and imitate them. So how do you bring the economic empowerment to the South Bronx, given the fact that the South Bronx is not only one of the poorest districts in the city, but in the United States? How do you envision looking and, and, and grabbing that by, by, uh, uh, by the handle? You tap into the resources that are already available in New York City and New York State. But these resources, be it financial and, other, and human, are not available to the people in the South Bronx. For whatever reason, South Bronx is a borough that people keep dumping on, um, city agencies and state agencies. Staten Island may be the, forget the forgotten borough, but South Bronx is the borough that people keep dumping on, to the point when you look at the MTA, you have a, a Democratic governor and a Democratic mayor, 
they cannot even get along and agree on how to fix this deplorable transit system. Let alone when you look at the MTA transit maps in the subways, you have Harlem River, you have East River, there's no mention of the Bronx River. Why is the Bronx being excluded? So they exclude the Bronx in terms of something as simple as an MTA transit map, and they also exclude the Bronx in something as huge as valuable capital and resources in order to enrich and empower the South Bronx. One way of doing that is by injecting employment opportunities in the South Bronx. In the past, I used to serve as Director of Career Services. I have 20 plus years of experience in terms of helping people with career development and job placement. I have a very high successful rate in terms of tapping people with resources that can make them employable and earn a high income. People in the South Bronx are not hiring an high income because they're building a prison in the South Bronx so they could hire these inmates, inmates for cheap labor instead of giving the people of the South Bronx the opportunity to increase their wages. They want to bring cheap labor in the South Bronx. And again, the South Bronx already have has two prisons. So Why me, another one? Let me go here before we get out of here because we're almost out of time. So somebody's watching right now and saying, why should I vote for Patrick Delises? Your answer would be... Because Patrick Delises is the best and the brightest. Patrick Delises has, has experience, has a qualification. Patrick Delises know how to fix the problems that continuously plague the South Bronx. You talk about resources, you talk about economic development, tap into JLo. JLo was born in the South Bronx. Let's reach out to her. Let's use some of her resources, some of her contact. Tap into Cardi B. Cardi B was born and raised in the South Bronx. Let's reach out to her, bring her back to the community, bring JLo back to the community so the younger generation can look at them and say they could be successful as well. But not only them, bring back Colin Powell. He's in the South Bronx, was born and raised in the South Bronx. Let's bring individuals who are successful, who are productive citizens, and make them accountable to the people of the South Bronx. Make them accountable to where they were birthed. And this is what I bring to the table. I bring innovative ideas. I look at challenges. I look at problems. I don't only identify problems, but I solve problems. No other political candidate is doing that currently. But Patrick Delises is. Patrick Delises, we thank you for coming and joining us here thank you, on sir. In the District. Thank you, sir. All right, thank Pleasure you. Pleasure meeting you. All right, listen, thank you for joining us. We'll be right back with more right after this.